So here's another COVID claim we need to talk about, the claim that the virus spreads through 5G. And yes, I'm talking about cell phones. So let's get into that. As you may know, the term 5G refers to fifth generation mobile technology. What's unique about that is it uses higher frequency bandwidths to give us greater data capacity and reduced latency, which basically means faster response times for our devices. As it turns out, the rollout of 5G in many parts of the world has coincided with the timing of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as unintuitive as it seems, this has led some people to put two and two together and somehow blame the spread of the virus on this new technology. In fact, Wuhan was one of the first cities in China to trial 5G, and that's where COVID originated. So naturally, it must have been the 5G, right? In fact, there have been 5G conspiracy theories for years now, very much pushed by Russian media outlets. So when COVID-19 came along, it fit right in with this. But where did this COVID 5G theory originate? To figure that out, I asked my friend Timothy Caulfield. He's a guy who calls out fake news for a living. In fact, you might've seen him do it on his Netflix show. So Tim, what did you find? So it, it turns out this COVID 5G theory, it started on a French conspiracy theory website and, and it really just took off from there. In fact, in some parts of Europe, people got so upset there, they're burning 5G towers and, and people are marching in the street in protest of, of 5G. And then as so often is the case, celebrities got involved. You got Woody Harrelson, you got MIA spreading this, this misinformation and the list goes, goes on and on. So it's the usual suspects. But I often find that these things start with a grain of science that gets misinterpreted. In fact, people often quote a paper from 2011 that suggested that bacterial DNA can generate electromagnetic signals. The problem is that not only is that finding disputed by other scientists, but more importantly, bacteria and viruses are completely different. And regardless, all of this ignores the fact that the virus is everywhere in the world, including in places with little or no 5G. For example, countries that were hit hard when the pandemic started, like Iran and India and much of Africa. So the bottom line is there is no science that supports that 5G has anything to do with the COVID-19 pandemic, except that it kept us all connected during lockdowns. 5G helped spread a lot of misinformation during the pandemic. So yeah, it helped things go viral, but it didn't have anything to do with spreading the actual virus. For more health and science info, subscribe to The Beat. Tim, you still there?